Hey, this is Dr. P here. And one question I constantly ask myself is, you know, how can I be a better doctor, a better clinician every single day? All right, this is Dr. P here. I'm here with Betty. Betty is nine years out from a left total knee arthroplasty or knee replacement that I performed uh, in the past. Uh, those of you who follow me know that uh, I am more into knee repair, not knee replacement, but there are certain patients that are still gonna need a knee replacement. She's doing very well from that. Uh, on the patients that I perform knee replacements on, I check them every couple of years because you can get some wear and tear, you can get some loosening that you don't really know you have yet and we can see it on an x-ray or we can see it on exam. And I like to double check that, but that's not why I'm doing this video. The main reason I'm doing this video is because she has her shoes and socks on. When I examine a patient, first of all, if you see a doctor and they don't touch you, leave them because I get that all the time. You have to examine a patient. Also, you have to see what you're examining. You can't have the pants on and examine a knee replacement. I see that a lot too. So sorry, I'm calling out some other doctors, but if they're not looking, they're not doing a good job. They're just lazy. Her shoes and socks are on. Well, she's being seen for a knee replacement. Why do I want her shoes and socks off? Well, you're diabetic, right? Yep. And so what happens if you have an ingrown toenail there or something like that and you're a diabetic? Infection. Exactly. So if you have an infection in your toe, what might happen? Knee. Exactly. It might get into the knee. And if it gets into your knee, especially being a diabetic, but just an infection in a knee replacement is a disaster. Usually, mm -hmm. Usually the person has to be on IV antibiotics for six weeks. Many times the entire knee has to come out, all the metal, plastic, cement, it's a big surgery. You have to put a spacer in there with antibiotics for six weeks. And then you might, depending on the infection, you might be able to put a new knee replacement in. Who wants to go through all that, right? A simple thing like taking the shoes and socks off, which I'm more than happy to do here. And luckily she has no issues there, but I have found patients with ingrown toenails, infections, etc. especially being a diabetic. I'm gonna look at her feet, I'm gonna feel her pulses, etc. I'll do a more thorough exam in a minute, but my point is she has some toenail issues here too. What if that toenail's digging into here and causing an infection? We wanna treat that very, very aggressively immediately. We don't want any infection in here. That is why patients, I have you take your shoes and socks off. If your doctor's not examining you, not touching you, not checking out everything, they're not doing their job. That's my rant for the day. Thank you, Betty, I appreciate <laughs> it. Great job. <laughs>